Uh, okay. Uh, hi. Uh, so in this video, what uh, I guess we want to do is just uh, do a short demonstration of uh, this Wiimote uh, beacon location system uh, that is currently running with two Wiimote obstacle, uh, ob object scanners and the actual beacon that we're going to be using uh, in the competition. So right now we've got two of these uh, Wiimote uh, sensors. These are the Rocket Brand Wiimotes. They're inside of uh, these 3D printed enclosures which uh, uh, Kelly Robeson on the mechanical team made for us. And they're mounted on top of parallax standard servo motors and then plugged into Arduinos and then being run into a uh, Java program that is handling a particle filter for location. Um, the particle filter from the Java program is pretty much telling our beacon to turn on and off. So uh, you may or may not be able to see that the top two rows of LED lights are being uh, turned on and off. John, I don't know if you want to say anything else about that. Yeah. Uh, basically, this is the LED beacon. It's infrared LEDs, and there's uh, 15 rows going around right here, and there's three rings on top, or there's five rings on top. Uh, each of these rows is split up into three each. So there's uh, five total channels right here, and there's three channels on top. There's uh, these two rings are one channel. This ring right here is another town. These two rings are another town. So, uh, long story short, this eight total channels goes through this uh, Ethernet cable and onto the breadboard, through the transistor, and onto the uh, uh, Arduino. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so now, I guess if we want to uh, just demonstrate that these two scanners are able to follow the beacon, uh, if uh, I don't know if we want to undo yeah. the thing. I'll take this right here. Cool. Oh, okay. Okay, so now, actually, do you mind, I'm going to cover up the beacon real quick. I'm just going to demonstrate how these two things will scan to find the beacon once they can't see it anymore. So both of these can see the beacon. Now I'm going to cover the beacon. And now the two scanners are scanning back and forth, trying to figure out where the beacon is. Once they see the beacon again, they will pretty much stop the scanning operation. So I'm going to uncover the beacon. And now they both see the beacon again, so they're locked back onto it. Um, so now if you want to, uh, if you can move the beacon out just a little bit so we can see if the two are following. I don't know if I should hold anything. Okay, so they've locked back on, and let's see if we can get just like one scan. There we go, there we got one scan over to the right. If you can see the, oh, it came out, sorry. <laughs> Uh, okay, well we're getting that attached back in. Um, let me just show you one thing on the software real quick. Uh, so this is graphical output from the particle filter that is running on each different beacon. And in addition to that, we also have, if you can zoom in on the bottom, okay, uh, if you can zoom in on the bottom, we also have our first version of X and Y position. Uh, that is being computed using the law of sign. So also, as you can see with our particle filters, both beacons have now locked back onto, or both Wiimote sensors have locked back onto the beacon over here. So uh, anyway, I guess that's uh, pretty much everything um, that, that we had to show in this video.